Hey there. So, you're one of us, aren't you? Mind if I ask you a few questions? Question one. When you travel, you usually... Travel with family. Well, if that's your idea of fun. <laughs> <laughs> Kidding. So, next question. When you're traveling, do you follow the itinerary or are you more spontaneous? Mm, I like to have a brief outline of things, but I'm also open to changing it whenever. And I, oftentimes it does end up changing, but I do want a brief outline. Good to know. And what about politics? What would you do if you disagreed with our country's government? <sighs> well, I don't think I'm going to set a place on fire. Maybe vote to make changes. Consider living abroad. That's an interesting one. This one takes a lot of courage, though. And it's not, frankly, it's not a choice that everybody can make. Right on. Oh, one last question. When you watch a movie, you do so to... Yeah, have a laugh. It's kind of the same as me playing video games. Feel something? Yeah, definitely. Learning something would be nice. I love learning. But you might also watch a movie to... Feel something. <laughs> Thanks. Good to know. And I guess you're like the other runaway teens, trying to flee Petria. It's really dangerous to cross the border. You have to be careful with the people you meet on the way, believe me. Don't go fainting on me. But each decision could shape your destiny and Petria's too. Okay, I guess it's time for you to hit the road. I hope you're ready. No pressure. Hey everybody, my name is Wellens and welcome to Road 96. It is June 11th, 1996, and this is a procedurally generated game about us going on a road trip to the border of Petria so we can leave because... Because why? We don't like the city? We don't like the country? Hmm. I'm here at our nation's border under National Mountain, the site of the Black Brigade terrorist attack in 86. If you don't remember... Hundreds died that day when a brigade truck carrying explosive devices crashed into the mountain, triggering its peak to collapse. In two months, on the same day as the nation's election, in the same spot where I'm standing, the 10-year commemoration honoring the victims... Stand and Give us all your darn money! Oh my god! Bitch. Yeah! Oh, you damn money! Robbery in progress. All cars in the area respond to me. Unit 2 here, on my way. Over. President Tyrak, the man who built the border wall behind me, protecting our nation, will be there. Protecting our nation? Ha! Huh. This event promises to be a solemn moment, and a time to celebrate the announcement of our next president. Ugh, total BS. Of course, I'll be there live, giving you the real story as it unfolds. This has been GNN Sonia Sanchez reporting live. Welcome to Row 96. So I will say again, this is apparently procedurally generated. That cutscene was probably the intro that everybody sees, but here onward, if you play the game, you might not see what I see here. I saw the demo for this about a month ago and I thought it looked really interesting, so... That's why we're here today. I am a kid. I'm a runaway teen. I am in the middle of the road. Where the speed limit is 80, but uh, I don't think I need to care about that. Suddenly reminds me a lot of Life is Strange 2, actually. Even down to the desert scene. President, there is a President Tyrak. Keep Petria safe. Oh, there's a there's a new president candidate, Flores. Oh, somebody's got a car over there. Maybe I can hitch a ride. Nineteen ninety six elections. Vote for Senator Flores.
There is suddenly a lot of missing teens, it seems like, according to the board in the very beginning. Because we all hate how everything is going. Just the teens? What about the adults? Hey! Mister! I've got five dollars to my name! Do you mind bringing me to a city? No good! Flippin' tire! A cop. A cop. Ma'am? Is everything okay? Just some car trouble, kid. What are you doing out here? Uh, it's car trouble. I can help. You changing the subject on me? Well, if you got any advice, I guess it wouldn't hurt to hear it. I'm not about to tell her I'm running away. Mm, my mom taught me a trick. Then have at it, kid. I'm guessing we don't view cops very favorably, in general. Grab spare tire, yes. This tire is completely flat. <laughs> I don't think that'll help. Will it? What are you? A tire whisper? You just kicked it out! Oh no, they meant the one that we took out is flat. Which makes sense. Hey, don't stop there. The pump's behind you. Pump it up! Oh! You know, you remind me of my son. He's always fixing things. Always breaking things, too. Really? Here. Stopper. Stops air from leaving. Thank you. See, we have these little mini games here. Thanks a lot, kid. Gotta say, I'm impressed. It's raining. Ah, uh, just my luck. Come on, follow me. We might not view cops as a whole favorably, but I don't feel like we should be mean to a random person, especially someone like an authority figure, while we have no authority at all in the middle of nowhere. Yes. So, uh... Do you patrol here often? I'm everywhere these days. Including Road 96. I'm working a case that requires it. What does that icon mean? Can I ask what kind of case? You can, but I can't tell you. Oh. So... Something wrong? You could say that, yeah. You could definitely say that. Wanna talk about it? With you? Hmm. <laughs> That's alright. No offense. Hey, I'm I'm just as tall as you, even though I'm I'm probably like twenty years younger. <laughs> uh, could help, you know? Yeah. Maybe you're right. It's just that my son, my adopted son ran away a lot of kids running away hard to be a cop son i'm really sorry yeah <sighs> me too kid i i knew something that he didn't a secret and when i told him he got upset is that a little bit too forward what was the secret? I told him who his biological parents were. Or as much as I know about them anyway. Why did he get upset? I always told him I didn't know. I was lying. It was hard on him too because of who they were. Who were they? They were members of the Black Brigades. Who are the brigades? The terrorist group responsible for the attack at the wall. Oh. Oh, I see. 
Can I ask how you adopted him? You know about the attack in 86, right? No, I wasn't born yet. Well... No, I was. That day, the brigades triggered an explosion that killed hundreds of people. That's the day I met my son. I was gonna say I wasn't born yet, but it's 1996 right now, so unless if I'm 10, then yes, I was born. And that's why there's so much political unrest here, talking about new presidents and all that. Although generally, he would want a new president every now and then anyway. You were there that day? Yeah, I was working security. Hired to protect Iraq at the wall's opening ceremony. President. Then what happened? Everything was going fine until... It wasn't. I barely saw the truck before it crashed into the mountain. Just a flash. Next thing I knew, rocks were falling on the crowd. It was... awful. Sounds really scary. You have no idea. The screams. Everything was just so... terrible. At some point, I... I looked down and... There was my son, silent, covered in dust, looking up at me. Maybe I shouldn't have, but I, I picked him up and brought him home with me. I just had to make sure he was going to be safe. I had to. And she picked up the son of somebody who was in the terrorist group too, but she's a cop. And what happened then? I looked in the papers for months after, searched the missing children reports every day. There was nothing. It's not unusual for brigades to cut ties with family. So you think his parents are dead? I do. What other explanation is there? I... I guess I deserve all this. I kept the truth from my baby. You were trying to protect him. Thanks, kid. I appreciate you saying that. I do. Central to Unit 2, do you copy? Over. I should get that. Look, kid. I don't know what you're up to out here. Just promise me something. What is it? Turn around and go home, okay? Your parents miss you. I didn't even tell her I was running away, but she's not dumb. Wow, we got a really heavy story as the first one. Well, back when I played the demo, the first one was like a really exciting, yeah, like a funny one, but this is just... <gasps> rain in the middle of a desert. Rain in the middle of a desert! Nice, I guess? Yeah. Oh, is that something? Oh, I, I can't even take the bus. You try to hitchhike, or I can keep walking. I guess... I guess we're walking. It's not a very quick walk. I mean, right off the bat, I think you can tell that there's a lot of... Ah, there's multiple people we can meet again and again. There's a lot going on here in this country. A woman... Well, she's a cop, but her kid... If you just treat her as a parent, the pain of a parent having a child run away. Smells like teen spirit. I think I am losing health because I walked along the desert. And that's tough for anybody. Welcome! The night skies campground. I'm dying. Reward! If you have any information regarding the brigade, radio transmitter. Call 96112 if you have information regarding the brigade, radio transmitter. Lots of missing kids. Why just kids? What about the adults? Ooh. President Tyrak, keep Petria safe. Vote for President Tyrak. I don't really know your policies yet. Vote for change. 
hope for Petria. Well, you're the reason why things are the way it is right now, right? So I'm inclined to think the lady is a better one, based off teenage reasoning. <laughs> I think that's pretty fair. Do. Or we could just say F everybody. Well, we don't know yet. Maybe we'll give the lady a chance. Psst. Oh, that's a nice cat. You're gonna vote, right? Okay, I said I was. I said I was gonna vote. <laughs> Not sure. Well, you should. You know, that's another reason Tyrax sends you teens, you know where. So that your vote can't be heard. He's sending the teens away on purpose? Got any road advice? Oh, what's the cat's name? That's Mr. Bottles. Don't be fooled. Dude is a wild man. Uh, thank you for letting me pet your cat. Would have loved to have some road advice too. Do you have a sip of water? Don't know if I have any... Anything... Can anybody just give me a little bit of help here? I'm dying. Look, just give me the money and I won't call the cops. A guy got stabbed here two days ago and they never came. The cops aren't gonna show for this. Can't hey, remember that. 4166. Hmm. There's a calendar from 1993. Get the impression... This place is kind of like disconnected from... Places normally. Reward if you have information regarding the Brigade radio transmitter. So the, the Brigade is officially known as... Oh, we can't even afford anything. They're officially known as terrorists, but... It, it probably depends on whose side you're standing on. Hi, lady. I don't have time for this. Just admit you stole from me and... I didn't do it. Is everything okay? Everything's fine. It's not fine. She broke into my office and stole from me. You have proof? Who are you? Her attorney? No, I don't have proof. She turned off my security camera. She's a criminal mastermind. <laughs> criminal mastermind? You teens. I don't need the hassle. I'm out of here. You didn't have to do that, you know. I was handling it. I, I know you were. Well, thanks, I guess. Anyway, welcome to the Night Skies Campground. If you like crappy trailers, this place is the best. I love crappy trailers. Then I guess you found your paradise. Excuse me, do you know where I can sleep for free? There's some cardboard around here. You're Dancing Carl. Dancing Carl? He's like this guy who's really competitive about dancing. You'll know when you meet him. Cool, so... see ya, I guess? Yeah, see you around, I guess. Hey, don't become roadkill out there, okay? Oh, I'm very, very close to. It would be beautiful here, except I'm nearly dead, and I have five dollars, can't even afford a freaking bottle of water from the vending machine. You don't know where you're going, do you? <laughs> I have no clue. <laughs> if you want to run a trailer, go up the stairs to my right and talk to the owner. Otherwise, find the dancing guy. There's cardboard near him. <laughs> yeah, we're not renting anything. Thanks. <laughs> so the guy went back here. We can talk to him, but we don't have any money. And he's not that happy with me because I didn't take his side just now, probably. What do you want? Whoa, whoa. What is this place anyway? I got trailers here. Trailers you can sleep in. If you got the dough. What do you offer? <laughs> thank you, but no thank you. 
Okay, dancing Carl. You don't know where you're going, do you? Uh, of course I do. <laughs> if you want to run a trailer, go... Sorry. <laughs> I'm gonna look around a little bit before I knock. Mmm. What about 4166? I am a freaking criminal mastermind. Hope he doesn't come in here. What's in here? What's in here? Okay, let's put ourselves in the mindset of a runaway teen with $5 to our name. I have nothing to lose. I'm gonna steal everything. I'm sorry. Like, I need to live, okay? I can't... I'd rather be alive but in jail, then be dead. I'd rather take the chance. Oh! <gasps> Steal his money and then sleep here? How about that? Oh, this is not good though. We stole... We stole someone's money. Okay, let's get out of here. Okay, no one realized. Un unpunch it! Unpunch it. Okay. I've got a little bit of money for a soda or two. This is 191.9, the voice of the brigades. This is your papa baby here. With the upcoming fraud of an election, more and more countries are calling for the resignation of Tyrant. I mean, Tyrak. <laughs> but will he step down? Of course not. Which is why, dear listeners, we must resist this man and his government as much as we can. And now, here's a tune from a fresh new band. Remember, Papa Baby loves you. You left the radio outside, Denny. Turn it off before you get us arrested. Right, so they don't know where that is coming from. And whoever finds out and has information will get a thousand dollars, which is looking pretty good for someone with fifty dollars to their name. Pirate broadcasting is a crime against Petria. Oh, this is $2,500. It's not like I have any information anyway. Well, I'm running away, right? So my default position is that I hate this country right now. I hate whatever's going on. So I feel like, based on that alone, maybe we shouldn't... We shouldn't sell them out, even if we... Even if we have the chance to. Nothing. Is there anybody around here? Hello there. Hey! You got any money? No. Oh, well, um, hope you reached the border and all that. <laughs> He's asking me for money. Okay, I have $50, but I do think I need to, like, refresh myself, maybe grab a bottle of water from the vending machine, or have a nice place to sleep tonight. Which one's more important? I think having water is more important. Okay, that's dancing Carl. Okay, well, knock him. Knock him this one. Okay, they love me. I thought it was the other one. I'll knock on this one too. Receptor. You said you'd give me another week. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone has their own trailer here. I thought small communities like this would be friendlier towards runaway teens. There must be a lot around here recently. Can I get over here? Okay, I'm gonna have a look around first. It's a big campground. You look lost. I'm okay, thanks. Yeah, I'm fine. I love how you're looking out for me though, thank you. Okay, don't help me. Should I just vandalize everybody then? Their posters. Get your tapes and snacks here. Tapes and snacks. Tape? Oh, like a cassette tape, 1996. Are you trying to cross? I am. Oh, well, that's why I'm selling this stuff. Well, it's expensive to be a runaway teen. 
sorry, man. Oh, I might come back for the food. But you're selling like a freaking granola bar. That's not food. <laughs> it's okay. Oh, this is her trailer. But from one teen to another, maybe I should help him out. You know, give him a little bit of business. Beats giving the vending machine business, right? Uh, excuse me. Do you have any food? You're one of them, huh? Sorry, kid. I got nothing. What about change? Fine. <gasps> Fine. Okay, kid. Tell you what, I'll buy your granola bar. Tape? No, I thought it was like duct tape. No, it's a cassette tape. Fine. Okay, no word of thanks. <laughs> Not that I really... Well, I really did do that as a favor to you, but, you know. Fine, fine. I'll get a drink, too. How about that? I feel like we should leave this place, though, because this guy's gonna find out soon. <laughs> oh, that was so expensive. That really was. I'm guessing these are all the same, then? I'll have a juice. Or maybe that bar is better, though. Yeah, I felt like it gave me back quite a bit. You look lost. <laughs> Me? Lost? <laughs> if you want to run a trailer, go up the stairs to my right. And talk to the owner. Otherwise, find the dancing guy. There's cardboard near him. Thanks. Appreciate it. A lot of people have entire trailers here that could probably fit more than one person, but there's literally no reason why they'd want to um, let a stranger in. He's having fun. Hello, mister. Uh, sorry, do you have any money? Uh, I, I <gasps> don't usually give money to journeying teens. But you seem, what's the word? Pathetic. Thank you. I have no dignity, okay? I'm a runaway teen. Know where I can sleep? The, there's some cardboard right there. But I gotta warn you, I'm a snorer. Thank you, that's awesome. Feel free to join if you can hang. <laughs> can I dance with you? No one can really dance with me! I'm on another level! But knock yourself out! Mm, unt, 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 unt. See what I mean about not being able to dance with me? Yeah, because I can't. Ooh, did I get a little bit tired from that? I feel reinvigorated, maybe? I'm not sure what happened to my bar. Um, where can I sleep for free? There's some cardboard right there beside that guy, but he's a snorer. Thank you. Is that like supposed to be Sony? Like the font looks like the Sony logo font. Okay, good night. Uh, I won't get my stuff stolen from me, will I? Not that I have much. Oh, thank goodness. I thought sleeping on cardboard would make it so that... Hey, 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 wake up. Come hang out with me. I'm not well rested. Up here! Oh, that's a beautiful sky. Hurry up! Come here, sit with me. You don't have any marshmallows, do you? Sorry, I ask everyone that. Anyway, it's nice to have someone normal around here. <laughs> that bad? Been on the road a long time? I left home at the start of the summer. I wanted to get out of Petria. Like you, I think. My dad thinks I'm on a big road trip. Truth is, I'm never going back home again. Why did you want to leave? To have a normal life? My dad says I'm lucky because I have a privileged life here. But that life disgusts me. Especially now that I know... 
Now that you know what? Uh, never mind. So surprisingly, the cop lady told us a lot about what's going on here, but we'll need to like suss it out a bit more. <sighs> Are you ever scared? Sometimes, yeah. But what scares me the most is going back to my old life. But enough about all that. Hey, why don't we play a little music? Sure, I don't really know how to play. Let's play Bella Chow. I used to play this all the time. You know. I don't know it. Don't be scared. Give it a shot. <laughs> Why this is really hard on the the keyboard? <laughs> Not bad. Not bad. Okay, now let's try it with the music. What? This might be impossible with a keyboard. <laughs> I should be recording this. <laughs> okay, faster. <laughs> <laughs> My stomach hurts. <laughs> Stop laughing at me. <laughs> all right. Yeah, all right. <laughs> it's three in the morning. Put that away before I come up there. <laughs> That's it! Both of you are gone by sunrise! Understand me? And don't come back! Ever! Oh man, that was great. <laughs> I got you kicked out! Nah, don't sweat it. I was gonna leave anyway. But I'm just sorry for you. Hit the road together? That's sweet, but I think I need to travel on my own. It's important to me, you know? Should have picked travel with friends in the beginning. <laughs> mm, I totally understand. Thanks for understanding. Well, we should probably start packing, huh? Good luck out there. Oh, uh, uh, this is for you. To remember this moment. Night Hope. Thank you. <sighs> Maybe I'll take the bus today. Yeah. So we get to see little glimpses of our journey upward to the border. Little human stories here and there. Zoe didn't tell me too much though. We didn't learn too much. Anything, really. Whereas the cop lady gave me a lot. Hmm. The border is a dangerous place. Better be prepared before going there. June 13th. LFO. I'm guessing these are like the names of the mini episodes. Oh, I'm the kid. Am I like a? I'm like a. No, no, no. This is some other kid. Oh, hey, homegirl. Hey, hey. You're wondering what I'm doing? Just hacking into Super Supper to give everyone in Petri a free burger. Those capitalist pigs need to spread a little wealth around. What about you? <laughs> You're well informed. Uh, gonna road 96. I figured you were trying to leave this despotic dump. Good luck with that, homegirl. Well, guess I'll get back to hacking this burger megacorp. You should take a snooze on that gnarly pillow behind you. Gonna need energy for the road. Surprisingly, I have full energy. And this is not... Oh, this is a bus, but it's so, like, crummy. It's, it's like a van. Wow. I got free food on the... The chair next to me, though. <laughs> Made up for it, I guess. Are we gonna have to game the energy meters a little bit? Like how in Papers, Please, you want to alternate the electricity and food? <laughs> hey, um... 
Any tips on how to survive on the road? Yeah. Be careful with what you eat. Try to avoid rotting food. Uh oh. But, you know, beggars can't always be choosers and all that. Let's suss out how this person is. You're so young, by the way. You're even younger than me. If Flores wins, we'll eat better. True, true. Alex, you there? I'm here. Nice computer. There's a receiver inside. Not bad, right? Built it myself. This is safe, Alex. Totally safe, Mr. Ursus. Like always. Mr. Ursus? He's a friend. I'm helping him in his mm, club in exchange for info. What kind of info? Info on my bio parents. They were in his club, too. Wait. I'm about to switch on the you know what, Alex. And I need to know if there are any uh you know what in the area. Is this the cop's son? The cop's adopted son? Uh, it's cool you're helping him. Look. I'm gonna level with you. Maybe it's stupid to do so, but I feel like I can. Mr. Ursus has an illegal radio, and he <gasps> wants me to check on the cops to see where they are. I heard that, Alex. Working for the brigades? Oh, I can't use it. I'm not, I don't have enough info, I guess. Countercultural, nice. Ain't gonna lie, it has its benefits. Sorry, Mr. Yu. Can't help you today. Too busy trying to make it rain beef. Yo, this might be the cop Fanny's son. I can probably help. No worries, because homegirl here on the bus can. Don't worry, yo. It's simple. Even an adult could do it. Go ahead. Turn the scanner on. Oh my god. Okay. But where are we trying to go, though? What's our goal? Mm, missing something? Whoops! Total cerebral flatulence. Forgot the bats. Here. Thanks. Just gotta put them in the right way. No sweat. Wait. Okay. <laughs> now, we gotta check the amplifiers. Open that mofo and flip the switches. Flip all of them? No. In some order. We just gotta figure it out. A lot of little mini games here. I kinda like it. Nice! Boom, boom. We need to listen far. So we'll activate just about all of the amplifiers. We need exactly eight volts to pick up the police radio. Three, four, one. That's what I'm talking about. We ready to scan. Turn the dials till you hear something. Signal meters need to be very bright. By the way, Mr. Yu, when are you gonna tell me more about my parents? That's part of the deal. About that, Alex. Uh, yeah? We'll, we'll talk soon, promise. You say that a lot. We gotta coordinate the both of them. Well, the easiest way to do this would be to leave one on the first position and then just move one of them. Nope. That was some Morse code thing. No? Yo, you're picking something up! Yo, yo! Unit 8, you copy? Alva. Unit 8 here, camped outside the gas station. Not a for now. Over. Keep looking. You got donuts? Alva. Coast is clear, Mr. Yu. They're still at the old spot. Broadcast away. Old spot? Yeah. Mr. Yu finds spots where he can do his little radio show. You should hear his radio voice. <laughs> Cracks me up, man. Thanks, eh? And, uh, 
Homegirl, beside A. And Alex, <laughs> make sure you reach out to your mom, okay? I'm sure she misses you. <sighs> sure, whatever. Thanks, homegirl. Here, for your help. Thanks. I never got to ask how old you are. You seem very young. Now, time to give the citizens of Petria free beef! And boom! Oh no! Trojan horses down! Well, at least 347 people got free burgers. I can live with that. Next up coming up. That's amazing, kid. Uh, I'm staying on. You? Oh well. This is where I get off. Stay fresh, homegirl. And good luck out there. Will we ever travel with anybody? Ah, oh, this is like a long distance bus. It's not like a, a bus route within the cities. But that made us travel pretty far. 13 miles to the border. Bad things you do have consequences. Good things do too. Okay, how about let's do... Oh, let's do one more. This is kind of addictive. It's really easy to just be like, next one, next one, next one. <laughs> Got a little bit tired just from riding the bus. It's only been a few days. I'm almost at the border. Stability for Petria, President Tyrak. Really? Is that why everybody wants to leave right now? Y you sure this place is closed, Stan? All the lights are on. Yeah, it just leaves those on to scare criminals. Oh my yeah, god. Didn't work. Nope. Ah, uh, there's a bunch of... Robbers? There's a bunch of thieves. Why should I, like, keep kicking it, or...? I'm okay for now. I'm feeling pretty good, actually, after that bus ride. Hi, guys! Room for a third one? Stan! You there! Wanna be part of something big? Uh, sure, like what? A break-in. Probably the best ever! Best ever? You say that before all our crimes. And every time, it's true. I need to get more info. Let's talk in the back. Come on, time to get started. Okay, so Mitch is casing out the place. We need to be real quiet. Oh, you've already assumed I'm doing it? Oh, but I'm scared though, because they have a gun, so if I don't do it, <laughs> and I know they're doing it, Okay, let's do it. Uh, Quiet's my middle name. Really? Now shut your trap. Here comes Mitch. Okay, okay. From what I can tell, the place is empty. Why are we breaking in? Because this place might have some important information. There's a psycho after Sonia, and we need to protect her. Yeah, sweet Sonia's in danger. Oh, I thought you were just breaking in for money. You're fans of hers? You could say that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you go in through the vents here. Me? I'm going in first? Uh, I fear small spaces. Cry me a river, kid. You use my lucky lockpick to get in. It's lucky because I've never had to actually use it. Who needs a key when you have a lockpick? Hey, this could come in handy. Okay. Let's do this. But, uh... Maybe you'd like to ask us something first? Are there a lot of cops on Road 96? Sure is. That's why Mitch and I don't venture yonder. Uh-uh. Don't venture yonder. <sighs> Bummer, I really need to cross. 
Yeah, guess that would be a bummer, wouldn't it? Now come here, little lady. Oh god, okay. Go to the end and use the lockpick. These guys look like they're straight out of Borderlands. Now park in front of the cameras and get ready! Oh, okay, you're just gonna make me watch? No, there's a lot of taxis here. Oh, yeah, uh, what if it's rotten, though? It shouldn't be. Whew! Lucky star, luck is on your side, thanks to Sonia. Aw, oh, Screw you, Sonia. Never did anything good for me. Finally! I thought we'd never get in! Stan, we talked about this. You need to work on your patience. Kid, can you see us on the camera? Yep. Hi there, guys. Look around. See a layout of the office? Vaguely. You want me to do something about it? Ah, of course. So they're standing in reception right now, near Cam 2. Okay, Cam 1? Wait, one of them is broken, right? A few of them are broken. I'm in the cam room right now. You're in... Yeah, reception. Like we didn't already know that. Let's do this already. Oh, oh no. Something's beeping. Do you need me to help? It's an alarm! Kid, stop the alarm! Make it stop! Cut the alarm, kid! W what do we do, Stan? Oh god. I don't know, but I can't go back to prison! Kid oh, thanks, little lady. <laughs> Why are you thanking her? She forgot to cut it! Stan, she's not an expert criminal like us. Mitch, help me with this door! Oh god, what? Oh, the phone's ringing, no sweat. Pick it up and act cool. Hello, this is security. We're responding to an alert. Everything all right? False alarm. Everything is all right. Mitch, can't you pick that lock any faster? Shut up. What triggered the alarm? A cat entering through the open window. You'll want to close and lock all windows in the future, ma'am. Anyway, thank you for your explanation. You're welcome. Bye. Just a second, ma'am. I'll also need Happy Taxi's security password. What? It's just protocol. Stan, Mitch, I need your help! What's happening, kid? I'm sorry, did you say something? Guys, they want a security password! What do you expect us to do? We're robbers, not wizards! Ma'am, could you, like, give me a hint? No, I cannot. Check reception for a password. Okay. Yeah, whatever, kid. I'm waiting, ma'am. What is the password? Come on, Stan, Mitch. Please help me, guys. Hold on. There's a prostate here. Says A45D2RCPP12. Maybe that's it. A45D2R? Oh, you're so... CPP12. Thank you for your time and take care. <sighs> I got it, Stan. Finally! What took you so long? You know I don't like to rush things. This is a break-in, Mitch! Look, the manager's office! Oh man, the door has a code. Any idea? Uh, try one, two, three, four. No. Four, three, two, one? It's gonna automatically lock if you guys keep nope. trying it. Well, I'm fresh out of ideas! Kid, you're in the security room. Code must be in there somewhere. Find it. Hold on. Try 9999. 
That's not it. You haven't even tried it. It's oh my God, car keys. I don't know how to drive. I'm a kid. Nine, four times. No one has that password. Let's give the kid a chance. Two, two, three, seven. Nope. Patreon Times. October 11. Ten years ago, brigade leader at large, Thomas Carson, a card-carrying brigade, serving his sentence for terroristic involvement, says the leader of the brigades has never been caught and is still at large. When asked for information on the leader, Carson would only offer this person's initials, B.W. Leader of the brigade, B.W. September 17, 10 years ago, black brigades found guilty. After a unanimous court ruling, dozens of brigades have been arrested for their crimes against the state, though it is rumored that several important members of the terrorist organization managed to escape and are still living among us, posing as harmless citizens. Because <laughs> they are citizens. They are the same as average citizens, right? Oh my lord. No. <laughs> Wrong. Come on. Wrong. It's gotta be one of the post-its. No. What? <laughs> Seriously? I'm in. The last what one. What the heck? Kid, are you seeing this? No. The manager office camera's off. Camera five. It's all black here. Uh, hold on, there's tape on the camera. There. Well, we knew someone was obsessed with Sonia, but this is Cray Cray. It's him, Mitch. The Seiko cabbie after her. You two, stop. Close the door. Oh God. Who was that guy? Looks like the security service sent an agent. Oh my Open God. Open this door immediately. Listen. You don't want any trouble. Give me the manager's office code. Don't give him the code, kid. We're close to finding where this creep is gonna attack. Attack? Oh, duh, but these are random people. I don't even know what they're doing. Ah! Snitches get stitches. Want to play it like that, do you? I got it, Stan. He's gonna attack at the border, at the top of the hill. The killer's attack location is known. Also, oh, there's some kind of an attack. You've asked for it. You're screwed, kid. Let's get out of here. Sorry, little buddy. Wow, thanks. Oh. And what? Screw that. Open the door now. Give me the chair. I don't know what was in that safe, but I don't have time, man. Oh, that was close. That was so scary. Oh, I have a car. Cause I got the car keys earlier. I wonder what the that code was, but I was so scared though. I didn't really get a chance to do that. Woo! I can drive now. We're so close. The end of the story is not getting to the border. Taxis, most of them anyway, give you a chance to rest. Okay, so I think we've seen a good bit of what might go on here. We've met some people. We meet one major person or major people at each event on each day. And it looks like there's an overarching maybe mystery or a plot that we're trying to uncover or stop. Because I mentioned that the killer's location is known. Someone's trying to kill Sonia. Sonia's some kind of a... Um, it's not the presidential candidate, right? Flores, that's someone else? It seemed like it might have been a celebrity or something. Her picture was on the scratch card. Amidst all this turmoil in the city. I quite like what I've seen so far. There's a lot of mini games here. And what I've seen, again, this is procedurally generated. So the order in which we're seeing things and what we're seeing exactly is... It's just for this playthrough. If you go watch another video or play it yourself, you're probably going to see different things. 
I don't know if it's possible to see everything in one playthrough. I'm guessing not. There's percentages under the people's names. And on the left side, there's different abilities that we can have too. Because we hung out with Stan and Mitch, now we know how to lockpick. Maybe I could have stayed a little bit longer to figure out the safe back in the security room office, but damn, I really felt scared because I was just a kid and some security guy was going to chase me. Stan and Mitch ditched me. But in return, we do know the killer's location, so I assume that's got to be a good thing. I quite like what I've seen here. I quite like it. Feel free to let me know what you thought of the game in the comments, and this was Wellens with a first look of Road 96, a procedurally generated road trip about going to the border to get freedom, to get away from this awful country. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in another place in another time. Bye!